choices and see if any of them just don't make sense. These are what I call freebies. Um, occasionally they'll show up on your test. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look and I'm gonna say, uh, this one seems like we'd be able to pick it out and see if it's true or not. So whether I look at it this way, this way, let me draw arrows, whether I look at it this way, this way, or this way, I'm never gonna get a square. So B doesn't really make sense. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eliminate answer choice B. I'm gonna do the same for answer choice D. Looking at this way, this way, and this way, once again, I'm never really gonna get this square looking box. So just like that, I have two freebies. Now I'm gonna take a look more specifically from certain angles and try to eliminate the rest of the answer choices until I get my correct answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pretend that I'm looking from um, over here. Here's my little eyeball. This kind of reminds me of Fisher projection when you know you draw the little eye and try to see which way it's facing. Okay, so here's my eyeball. I'm looking this way. Okay, now I'm taking a look at this and which figure does this look like? It looks like E, doesn't it? So we're gonna take a look and see if it matches. All right, so we've got this shape, looks just like this shape. But one thing that's catching my eye is the following. Let me go ahead and highlight it so you guys can see it. This shape right here is at an angle. It's like at a slope. See how much longer this side is than this side? So that is definitely not the case in E. For E to be correct, it'd have to be something like this. And it's definitely not that. So we can eliminate answer choice E. Now let's move our eyeball and see um, which one it looks like. Well, A and C both look like the eyeball is facing from the top. So I'm gonna take my eyeball, I'm gonna move it to the top and I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it. There's my eyeball. I don't need this arrow anymore. All right, there's my eyeball. I'm looking at it from up here, looking down at the object. And now I just have to decide between C and A. Which one is it? So essentially what it boils down to, the only difference is C, it looks just like A, the only difference is it doesn't have this continuation part right here. Do you guys see that? It doesn't have that and um, that's like the only difference. So essentially what we're trying to decide is this, this shape down here continue outwards so you can see it when you're looking at it from the top or does it end and you don't see it? So is it gonna be A or is it gonna be C? Well, looking at it, we see that this shape right here aligns with this. So if we had to draw little dashes as to where the shape would be, it would look like this. And then we'd have our little, cause it's like kind of like a rectangular prism. There it is. And then we've got our dashes. So it pretty much aligns with the end right there. And of course that end right there is aligned with this top end. So this shape continues outward, just like we see in A, not in C. This is definitely a trickier one. You're gonna to have to really picture this continuing through the object and where it would end up. Is it right here like we noticed at the end or is it somewhere else? Doesn't really make sense for it to be anywhere else because then it'd be going diagonally somewhere. So that's how I knew that this is, let's see, the shape would continue this way if it was all the way attached to the top. So I can eliminate answer choice C, which leaves me with the correct answer of A. I hope that helped you guys out and happy Valentine's Day. Ta -da. <laughs> Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help you guys out. Just Facebook message me any questions you guys may have.